good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio, and today I am going to have to do something that I promised myself and a bunch of you that I was going to make a real effort to do less. I'm going to have to boast, because you see, ladies and gentlemen, there is a level ball reprint coming, and I totally called it. Now, about a month ago, just over a month ago, I made a video talking about the fact that Level Ball may be coming back and why I thought it should. And then I didn't know if that was unequivocal enough. So when I did my video, I think it was the Energy Recycler video the other day, I just flat out said, I don't know what other reprints we're getting, but I'm saying we're getting a Level Ball reprint. And we're totally getting a Level Ball reprint. And I tell you what, this is awesome, and brilliant, and wonderful, and this is going to make a huge, huge difference to a whole bunch of decks. Level Ball is awesome. Now, we got Level Ball originally back in Next Destinies, which for us was February 2012. We then got our second and final printing in Ancient Origins, which was August 2015. So by the time this releases, you're talking five and a half years, which is quite a while. Yes, I know it was legal for a little bit longer than that. But my point is, Level Ball is finally coming back. And if you like the Pokemon trading card game and playing decks in the Pokemon trading card game, this is excellent, excellt news because Level Ball is it's just a card that makes the game better. Now what it is is an item card that reads, search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less, reveal it and put it into your hand. So, like most of these ball search cards, it will let you search for any Pokemon within particular parameters. The parameters here being that it must have a maximum HP of 90 or less. The thing to remember is there are a lot of Pokemon out there that have a maximum HP of 90 or less. These are going to work for a huge amount of decks. I mean, first of all, you've got those decks that just want to play little Pokemon. So, Mad Party is a great example of this. Because you've basically got your Bunnelby, which is one of your attackers at 40 HP. You've got your Sinisty, which comes in at a whopping 30 HP. You've got your Poltegeist, which is your big attacker that comes in at... 60 HP, you've got your Dedene, which comes in at 70 HP, and then to be fair, you do actually have your Mr. Rhyme, that does ruin the party, pun intended, with 120, but Liverpool's not going to be the only card that you play here. So the vast majority of your Pokemon can be gone and grabbed using Level Ball. Durant, now I showed you the new Durant uh, earlier today, yesterday, something like that, and that new Durant has... 90 HP, which to be fair is still 20 more HP than they had last time, and it's for two colorless energy rather than one metal energy, but this Durant has got the same attack as last time. For every Durant you've got in play, you discard the top card of your opponent's deck, i.e. if you've got four Durant in play as you're aiming to, you should be discarding or milling the top four cards of your opponent's deck every turn. And frankly, if you're milling the top four cards every turn, that's going to get kind of fun kind of quickly for, for you, not for your opponent. <laughs> and my point here is that these kind of decks are going to love Level Ball because they just let you search out your Pokemon beautifully. Although I need to give a little bit of a side note here. I need to give another shout out to my boy Stoutland. And then Stoutland is fast becoming one of my boys. You see... The Stoutland from this set looks absolutely nuts. For those that may have forgotten, Stoutland has got a rather ridiculous attack that for free colorless energy does 40 damage, but if it knocks out a basic Pokemon, you take an extra prize. And remember, it's not really 40 damage because powerful colorless energy puts it up to 60, Vitality Man puts it up to 70, and you can always start playing around with stuff like Galarian Zigzagoon and Scoop Up Net and all of that good stuff to really push it up to silly levels. And my point here is that any Pokemon that can going to be got with Level Ball is going to be a low HP basic Pokemon. 
and Stoutland is going to feast on low HP basic Pokemon. Like Mad Party and Durant are two of the decks that Stoutland is just going to be licking his cute little doggy chops in anticipation of. These are not decks that are going to like playing against Stoutland. Something that does need to be borne in mind. But the thing is, Level Ball should not be thought of as just a card which is for these decks that only play low HP Pokemon. Because, I mean, let's take my Excadrill deck. So my Excadrill deck plays a 4-4 Excadrill line and a 4-4 Chinchino line. Now, Chinchino actually does have 90 HP, which is brilliant. And Excadrill comes in at 140, which is too high. But both of their basics will work quite nicely here. Also worth pointing out that the deck plays one copy of Fione. And wouldn't you believe it, ladies and gentlemen... Fione comes in at a very convenient 70 HP. Which means that I can't get Excadrill, but I can get the majority of my deck with Level Ball. But really, in the early game, I can get my basics. I'm going to be playing Quick Ball to search for my basics. I'm probably still going to be playing Great Ball. But now, all of a sudden, in the early game, Level Ball is better than Great Ball. Great Ball gets you any Pokemon from the top 7 cards of your deck, which could be an Excadrill. But... If I'm here turn one, I don't want Great Ball, I want Level Ball. I want to be able to get one of my basics. And the thing is, I can always search out Chinchino and then try and get into Excadrill that way. So as soon as this comes out, I'm rebuilding Excadrill because I want Level Ball in there. And Quick Ball's still going to be a four of, and Level Ball's going to be a four of, and I'll work out the Great Ball count later. And honestly, Pokemon Communication is probably getting cut from the deck, because there are too many games when I draw Pokemon Communication without a Pokemon to swap. You've got to shuffle a Pokemon into your deck to use Pokemon Communication. And all of a sudden, Level Ball makes my deck faster and more consistent. Bearing in mind, I still contend that outside of ADP decks, about the only time I lose consistently is when I don't set up. Every other matchup, I don't mind playing against. So I've just got more consistency. And any evolving deck is going to get extra consistency here. But it's not just that. It's Jirachi. Jirachi can be searched out with this. Chinchino can be searched out with this. For what it's worth, Jirachi Amazing Rare actually comes in just under the threshold here. Nah, I'm lying to you. 70 HP, it's, it's a tiny Pokemon, right? But the point is, I can search out these consistency Pokemon. Consistency Pokemon tend to be smaller. Galarian Zigzagoon, which a lot of people play not to evolve, but to drop damage counters, that's got 70 HP. That can be searched. So even in decks where you're not grabbing your main attackers, your setup Pokemon, your support Pokemon, are very often going to have low HP. I've mentioned Jirachi, Galarian Zigzagoon, Zigzagoon, Fione. These are all widely played support Pokemon. Jinx would be another lovely example here. Let's you move your damage counters around. 80 HP. Spiritomb, which is often played as like a little one-off tech. It's got 60 HP. Even Eternatus decks might want to play this because it'll get your Galarian Zigzagoon, it'll get your Spiritomb, and it guarantees that Pokemon. Great Ball can whiff. Pokemon Communication, you cannot have a card in your hand to swap. This always gets you a Pokemon, assuming there's one in your deck. And now we need to go back and look at Ball Guy because this makes Ball Guy a very different card. Ball Guy lets you search for free item cards with different names that have ball in their name. And I originally messed up when I made the video because I mistakenly said it was three cards with ball, not three different cards with ball. And my conclusion with Ball Guy basically was, well, you're going to be playing Quick Ball and you're going to be playing Great Ball, but the third ball is going to be awkward. You can play Pokeball, but remember you've got to flip heads for that to work. We might not want to do it. We can play Cherish Ball, and if you're playing Dedenne, then yes, admittedly, this is good, because you can play like a one-off Cherish Ball, Ball Guy gets Cherish Ball, Cherish Ball gets Dedenne, but you might not want Dedenne. Now, Ball Guy becomes an immeasurably better card, because what you're now doing with Ball Guy is you're searching out a Quick Ball, a Great Ball, a Level Ball, and that is, for so many decks, just going to get you set up so nicely. Now, one thing we do need to mention about Level Ball, and it is a gigantic difference between last time and this time. I kind of mocked Jirachi a moment ago for being so gosh darn weak. 
Well, that was one of the selling points of level ball before. Because Jirachi EX, when you played it from your hand to your bench, let you search for a supporter card. It's Tapu Lele. But it's got 90 HP. And there's a reason why people still play Jirachi over Tapu Lele and Expanded, even given the terrible HP. And that is the fact that you can search it with level ball. And nowadays, we don't have that. We've got Dedene and we've got Crobat, both of which are miles away. Crobat's got double the amount of HP level ball will grab. So that is a significant difference between last time and this time. The fact that before we had Jirachi and now we don't. But it will still grab Chinchino and it will still grab the Jirachi from Team Up. And there are plenty of consistency Pokemon that we've got now we will have in the future that will have 90 HP or less. The fact is there are going to be certain decks, and I'm basically putting any evolution deck here, that are just going to instantly play a large number of this because why would they not? It's amazing. And then there are going to be a whole bunch of other decks that aren't really playing that many evolutions, but it's fine because they're playing a whole bunch of other cards instead that are going to be searched with this. But no matter which way you slice it, this is a slam dunk five wassy card without even a second four. This is one of the reprints. I mean, for a while, I in all of my videos when I was talking about new Pokemon cards, I'd say it's got 90 HP, which would be good if there's a level ball reprint. I've been wanting one for ages, and I know a lot of other people have. And now we've got it. Make no mistake, this is going to see a huge amount of play. Also, nailed it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Please don't hate me. Although, if you're one of the people that's still watching the video at this stage, it means you're one of the bigger fans of the channel. It means I love you. And I think it means that you will forgive me. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to know what you think about this. So let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching a pretty gosh darn happy PTCG Radio.